Her parents pull Laddie close. They hold each other tight, trying to keep their family together just that much longer. Have you made your choice? Lack asks. Laddie nods. She wishes to heal her that she must heal them for the sake of the maiden's ritual and thus Omega further. She is prepared to allow the spirits to take refuge within her. That they lack falters for a moment as though it did not expect this answer let alone one so for agreeing to let the spirits take refuge in her heart renders Laddie but a relic. Eternal, yes, but neither dead nor alive as she watches time pass before her. It is, she insists. From the moment she was born a maiden, she thought she would never know love, and yet it has found her. And that is enough. She turns to her companions with a solemn look on her face. Two of the three must be sacrificed in order to heal her heart scars. Laddie turns to her loyal companions. Some are silent, others shed tears. There is a serene smile or two, and Laddie offers her own awkward grin. Until next time, Laddie says. Her choice of parting words must mean she doesn't believe this goodbye is forever. Laddie's lips can form a final farewell. You rest a tender kiss upon her forehead. You both stand in silence for a moment, keenly aware of each other's feelings. Fed by the power of Laddie's memories, the relic glows ever brighter. She steps up to the altar and raises her relic in the air. A divine light erupts from the top of the tower at the center of the heart's domain. It touches every corner of the domain. A lighthouse in the darkest of seas guiding wayward souls to shore. The maiden's ritual. Laddie dreamt of it ever since she was a young girl, and now it is done. She is a maiden. Omega Isle and the spirit shall know peace. Laddie closes her eyes. holding fast to the memories of her family. On the island saved by her hand, she shall slumber forevermore.
Time continues its inexorable march. A gentle breeze guides Wave softly to the shores of Alpha Isle, as it came to be known after it escapes certain doom. A young boy stalks carefully through the he clutches a large tree branch in his hand. His eyes fixed on a monstrous shade. He has chased it here after finding it near the village and taking it upon himself to end it before it can do any harm. In one smooth motion, the boy rears back and hurls the branch. It falls harmless. The monster seems to be heading toward the nearby spire. There's a weird looking boat anchored in this grotto. It looks clear there's a name on the hull, but it's too worn and faded to read. I've got to get that monster, the boy squeals, turning to head toward the spire. All the stories say the spirit spire was built to protect the uh, All the stories say the spirit spire was built to protect the island. It's really old, but nothing bad has happened to the island in a long time. So, it must be working. The boy pushes the large door open and and he could have sworn the monster ran in here. He'll just have to keep looking. Sunlight pokes through the gaps in the crumbling stone walls. The monster is nowhere to be found. The boy scans the room again, more carefully this time, his eyes landing on an altar. Upon the altar slumbers the maiden that brought peace to Alpha Isle. At least, that's what everyone says. Beside her lies a single sword, covered in rust as it is. It must have stayed by the maiden's side since the moment she closed her eyes. It looks nice enough, though. Maybe it belonged to the guy from the legend. Supposedly, he risked his life to protect the maiden. The boy's eyes drift from the sword to the maiden's face. He stares for a moment, captivated. He wonders if she's dreaming. If she is, it must be a good dream because a small smile flickers across her lips. There you have it. The journey of a maiden who feared herself worthless across the seas and through her own heart.
And so, your long voyage has come to an end. What did you think of this tale? You have my apologies. I shall pass your complaint along to the writer. Oh, how I hate to think this is the end of our travels together. But I'm certain we'll meet again in the world of voice of cards someday. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart.